Another thing that, that was, I think, a really important first and a change that, that Tesla pioneered was making a car that was really desirable. You know, new technologies in automotive, and especially electric cars, were stereotyped as golf carts, as these little neighborhood electric runabouts. They couldn't be fast. And we tried very hard to change that, and I think did change that perception with the Roadster. You know, it was a car that competed head-to-head -head with gasoline sports cars. It was fast. It was fun to drive. And it looked, you know, it looked good. So you know, people were buying this based on the car that it was, not just the fact that it was electric. And that's going to be an important trend in the future as well. I don't think we'll see just electric vehicles or, or hydrogen or other types of vehicles competing in their own little niche. We're going to see all these kind of technologies competing head-to-head -head with each other. And customers want to go buy the best car that they can. And they don't really you know, want to just focus on one attribute and then forget everything else. And as we've gone forward, we've also you know, taken a much more ground-up approach. And I think this is also a very key thing for why the Model S turned out to be, a, I think, a really good car, was that we, we started the engineering from the bottom up. You know, we didn't convert a gasoline car into an electric car. We took a clean sheet approach, looked at the physics of how we would package a battery pack, you know, what the best place to put the battery is. And this big thing that you see, that sort of silver uh, mattress-like thing on the bottom, is the battery pack. It's the heaviest part of the car, and it's also the lowest part of the car. So the handling can be extremely competitive. And you know, people, a lot of people ask and look at sort of the, the demand characteristics of electric vehicles in the market today, and even plug-in hybrids. And I think you know, it's a little bit misrepresentative to look at the total sales figures today, because there aren't very many models of cars out. And there are even fewer models of cars that were designed from the ground up with a really, really serious mission to be an electric vehicle. Most of the electric vehicles out today are converted from gasoline cars. And if you do that, you, you end up fundamentally compromised. You can't put the battery where you want it, and you can't make as good of a car as you can otherwise. So today, there's only maybe about three or four you know, really genuine you know, ground-up electric vehicles and plug-in hybrid vehicles to choose from. So it doesn't give you a, br a broad market uh, representation. Um, also, all-wheel drive is another really interesting characteristic. And more broadly than just all-wheel drive, the controllability and the, the software control and the dynamic control that you can get with these different types of propulsion systems is very unique. And it's a lot better than what you can do with gasoline. In a gasoline engine, you, know, you have to adjust the flow of mass and air and fuel in the engine. It takes time. So you can kind of feel this you know, when you step on the gas too much and the wheels might spin up and then they try and stop. And it, it, it's kind of a clunky system. With electric vehicles, you know, any type of electric vehicle, you can control that, that, tech, that flow of power much more accurately and much faster. So we can make some of the best all-wheel drive cars in the world. You know, the performance in snow is amazing. The tires don't spin up too much. They, they really never spin faster than, than the road. And we can control that in a computer you know, very precisely. Um, overall, this is, these are just some quick specs on the Model S. I think uh, some of the things you see are that it's an incredibly fast car. You know, this thing is one of the fastest vehicles you know, made in its uh, highest performance category. And you know, that's not intuitive for most people when they think of electric or alternative propulsion, alternative fuels. But it's one of the key defining characteristics of this new technology is that it can actually do better at a lot of the things that customers really want, which is delivering torque, controllability, and connectivity as well.